Hello, everyone. All right, I just had a little bit of trouble with starting this video. I hope all of you guys can hear me now. Um, and I hope that I'm live, but YouTube is saying that I am. So, um, yeah, welcome to our class today. Um, we're going to do a full body workout and try to put together some basic exercises that can be variated in a more extensive but also lighter way um, just to fit everyone's standard and everyone's level of exercising as well. Um, so maybe you have uh, read the description already. We're going to do um, eight exercises in total or yeah, eight exercises in total and um, we're going to do uh, two rounds so in the first two rounds, we're going to do four exercises. And each exercise, we're going to do 40 seconds. Then we'll have uh, 20 seconds rest. And then 40 seconds, the second ex exercise, and so on. And then we're going to continue the circle again. So um, I'm going to start with a couple of instructions, which exercises we're going to do. And during the exercise, I'm also going to show you a couple of variations. Um, in order that you can find your own balance on how strong you want to exercise or how, yeah, how easy you want to take it on yourself. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to, um, we're just going to start to warm up the body a little bit so um, the rest of the people can also click in slowly and join the live session. So, um, first of all, let's just stand up. And now we're gonna move our feet about hip width apart and slowly kneel down. You can keep your hands in the front first. Try to find your balance here, not to fall back. If you do, you can also lay uh, to the front a little bit. It's just to warm up your legs, to get moving. So now just move your knees in and out so you can get hips activated a little bit and your muscles just to warm up. You can keep your hands in front or keep them close to your body. Doesn't really matter. Just so you can feel your body moving just like this. Yes. All right. Now take your right arm, right hand and grab your left ankle and twist yourself left side and you can also lift your left left arm to the ceiling and look up towards your fingertips so just activate your spine a little bit feel the heat yes i'm actually feeling the heat around you but i think that's because i'm still a bit nervous all right and exhale release Move your knees a little bit again. You can just jump a little bit so you can feel your thighs. And now take the left hand, grab your right ankle, and twist towards the right side. Extend the right arm towards the ceiling. And move your shoulders away from your ears so you can be, you want to be as open as possible. All right, and exhale, release. Now we're gonna take our elbows, and do a bit of a yogic stretch here. Um, take our elbows inside of, our, of both our knees and push the elbows aside. So put your hands together and really push them away from another. Try to create a straight spine. This way, so you can see it as well. So don't do this. Really create a straight spine. Yes. Just feel the stretch a little bit. You could just like go from left to right. Get a bit of heat in the body. Now we're gonna go onto all fours. Spread the fingers wide, have a 90 degree angle in your knee and with your upper body as well. Same with your shoulders, shoulders above your hands and a 90 degree angle as well. 
And now we're going to do a couple of cat and cows, just as in yoga. A couple of you might have already joined some of the other classes here. All right, now inhale, drop the belly, dive your heart forward and look up to the ceiling, and exhale, round the back. Inhale, look up, drop the belly, and exhale, round your back. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, drop the belly again. And exhale, round your back. And now just start to circle your spine a little bit. So we can get arms up. Any kind of movements we're about to do in this practice and the other direction. All right, find back to center. And now, slowly lift your knees and go into downward facing dog. Don't be confused, we're not gonna do yoga, we're just gonna do a couple of warming up movements. All right, exhale here. Inhale. And exhale, you can walk your feet a little bit. Just gotta make sure that all of our guys' bodies are warm and ready to perform. Inhale, shift into high plank. Exhale, drop the knees and slowly move down. Now inhale, lift your upper body. And exhale, bring the knees. Inhale, lift the upper body again. Try to create tension in your back, warming it up. And exhale, release. Inhale again. And then exhale, release. All right, now press yourself into a four legged stand again. And now I'm going to. Start to show you the exercises we're going to do in the first round. So we're going to start with a lunge, jump, or just knee raise, depending on how you feel comfortable. So I'm going to start with the right leg forward, bend into the lunge. So the left leg is to the back, and you're on your on the balls of your feet. Go down, and make sure you have a 90 degree angle here. And keep your knee as steady as possible because you don't want to get any injuries. Don't move your knee to go towards the inside because that may injure it. So, and then we're going to raise the left leg and pull it into the front on top and go back into the lunge position. You can keep your hands in front of your chest or keep, the, keep them on the side. Just try to do it with me really slow now. So we're gonna go up and back again. And for those people, people who feel comfortable in this position, you can also go up, jump, and go back. Jump, and go back. Jump, and go back. All right, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise in this round is the same thing, just with the other leg in front, the left leg in front, right knee comes forward. Right knee goes back and forward. And back, jump, and back again. All right, first two exercises. The third exercise is going to be a plank pose. So we're going to go into high plank and then take the left leg and exhale. Move it towards your chest. Inhale back, exhale towards the right side. Inhale back. And exhale towards the left side. Inhale back and now the right leg. And front, back to the right side and back and right knee to the left side and back. If that is too much for you, you can also just hold the high plank or go onto your knees if it's too much, but make sure not to lean down from your lower back. Try to be 
as strong as possible in your core. Because otherwise, you might injure yourself as well. All right, I'm a bit out of breath already. <laughs> and now, the last exercise for the first round, we're going to lay down and raise your upper body, move the up. Move your arms to the side and exhale, release. Inhale up. Really feel the tension in your upper body, your upper back, and your lower back. Inhale up and exhale, release. Inhale up and exhale. And we're going to start with the lunges. Right leg forward and the left leg to the back. All right. Three. Two, one, and forward, and back, forward, and back. For those who want to jump, jump, and back, jump, and back, jump, and back. Remember to breathe as well. That gives your body the energy to move. Move your arms. Well, it gives you the dynamic. All right, and pause. Now, release your legs, let them loose, feel the heat in your body, your breath. All right, five more seconds, left leg in front, Right leg back and up. Right leg up and back and up and back. Up and back. And you can jump as well. Up and back. Up and back. Do your rhythm as it suits you. You cannot hold it anymore. Just stay in lunge position. Maybe rock a little bit up and down. All right, three, two, one, break. All right. Feel the heat in your legs. We're going to do plank now. So slowly get into plank position. Spread your fingers wide. Your shoulders are above your hands. And left leg forward and back. Left knee to the right side and back. Left knee to the right side and back. Now the right leg. Right knee to the chest and back. Right knee to right elbow, back. Right knee, left elbow. And back, left side again. Left, front, left, left elbow, and left, right elbow. Right side, right knee to the front, right knee to the left, and break. All right, good job. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna be laying down on our belly, getting ready for a back exercise. Four, three, two, one. All right, inhale, up, exhale, back. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Now continue to do so, and make sure that your legs are really firm into the ground. They have a lot of stability in your lower body, and your upper body creates all the tension. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Try to gaze down while you're doing it. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Inhale, up, and release. All right, you can just kneel down for a little bit. Way from side to side. Slowly get into a standing position. And we're going to do the lunge jumps again. All right, right leg in front, get into your lunge, and left leg up and back, and jump, and back, 
jump and back, jump and back, jump and back. Really make sure that your knee is not collapsing in because that can create a lot of injuries in your knees. So continue up and back, up and back, or jump and back. All right, guys, let's keep going. My legs are burning. All right. Up and back, up and back. All right, and pause. Whew. Also doing these exercises, try to be as firm as possible in your core. Don't collapse in, but maintain some strength in here. It's not just legs, it's your whole body that's working out. All right, left leg to the front, left and up. Right knee up and back, up and back, jump and back, jump and back, jump and back. All right, 20 more seconds. Really feel the heat in your legs and your butt. And really raise the knee, real dynamic movement. Try to maintain the 90 degree angle. All right, and pause. Now we're gonna move into plank again. Give yourself a smile, enjoy the workout. All right, move into plank and left knee front, back. Left elbow, back, right elbow, and back. Right knee, front, back. Right elbow, back. Left elbow, back. Left knee, front, back. Left elbow, back. Right elbow, back. And now here, continue the exercise, but listen to my words. Be careful to be strong in your lower back. That as well is really important to prevent some injuries. All right, last one. And pause. All right. One more exercise in this circle. I hope you guys are feeling the heat. Slowly move down. Feel the rain on your tummy. Straight, moving arms. And then inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Gaze down towards the ground. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Try to keep your legs down to the ground as firm as possible. All right, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Really squeeze everything together. And exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. All right. You can keep laying here. Or move up. Child's pose. Give yourself a smile. We're hanging into this. We got this. It's been a long day, but it's time to finally wake up. All right, so just grab yourself something to drink, but don't drink too much because of your tummy, otherwise it's gonna to be too full. Um, while you're giving yourself a break, since my face is not bright enough already, um, I'm gonna to continue to show what we're gonna do for the second round. So for the second round, we're gonna do push-ups. You can either, Put your hands about shoulder wide apart, put the legs down. And again, really important for almost all the exercises that we're doing, be strong in your core. Don't hang down, but really tuck your pelvis in as strong as possible. All right, move your legs down and lower down and up. If you cannot do this, that is totally fine. Don't pressure yourself into any exercises. Otherwise, you can go onto your knees, 
and also create a straight line with your body. Again, keep your core as tight as possible and move down. And now you can either put your hands wide apart or further together, but the further you move them together, the harder it's gonna be for your chest. And otherwise, if you cannot do those at all, it's totally fine, we've all been there. You can also start on your knees, slowly move down and rest. Somehow get up again, and then start again. Slowly move down, rest, and get up again. That's how you start to learn these exercises. Really slow, it's all about baby steps and not pressuring yourself too much. All right, so push-ups, first one. Second one is gonna be the bridge. So we're gonna move our feet close to our butt, lay down with a straight back. We're gonna lift the left leg, and with a strong core and butt, this is especially good for our butt, move up and really press into your glutes. Press up and down again. Be strong in your lower, uh, lower back as well. So up, squeeze, and down. Up and down. And here again, maintain a straight leg and don't close in with your right knee or the knee that is bent. So up and down. The same we're gonna do with the other leg. So straighten the right leg, tuck the left knee in, and up and down, and up and down. Again, firm legs, really steady knees to prevent any exercises so you can join more workouts. All right, and now we're gonna do an ab exercise. So lay down on our backs and tuck our hands under our butt, lift the, lift the legs, and on an exhale, move down the right leg and the left leg, and inhale, right leg up, left leg up. So we're gonna move with our breath. It's really important because then you're gonna feel the burn even more. So exhale, one leg after the other down, inhale, right leg up, left leg up. And really focus on your lower back to push into the ground so you create as much, much tension in your abs as possible. All right, and the last exercise for this round is gonna be either white-legged squats, so move your legs into a 45 degree angle, really step more than hips width apart. The more you step apart, the more it's gonna go into your butt and go down, up and really squeeze it together. So I'm right, a bit slippery without my mat. So go down, maintain a straight back, and have your knees in a 90 degree angle. Don't move above your, your toes. Go down and up and squeeze it together and down. Otherwise, if you want more cardio, more of an aerobic exercise, you can kneel down this way with knees up, uh, together, feet about hip width uh, together, move down, jump, and leg in a uh, land with your legs further apart and move down and jump and together and jump and apart. All right, so we got the wall, push ups, bridge for the butt and the squat jumps. All right. I hope you guys had enough drinks. And, oops, we're gonna do this. We're gonna start now. I hope you guys know all the variations for push-ups. Otherwise, I'll repeat them during the exercise. All right, and get ready. Three, two, one, go. Go down and up. Remain straight in your body. Have a strong core. You can either get down on your knees and down and up, down and up. Or you can just slowly go down and then push yourself somehow up again and go down and up. All right, continue to do so and remind yourself to breathe.
Eight more seconds. All right, last ones. And pause. All right, hope you guys all feel your chest and your arms because a lot of times we tend to not train these things. All right, move into bridge pose. Heel close to your butt. Straighten the left leg parallel to your right leg. And up and down. Up and squeeze and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Squeeze as, as much as possible. To really get a firm butt and feel the heat. And up and down. It's an active left leg. All right. Pause. You can sway your knees from side to side. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. All right. Find back to center. Straighten the right leg. Lift. Heel as close to your butt and up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Firm knee, don't collapse in. It's all straight. Don't get any injuries. Up and down. Up and down. Firm core as well. It's not just your butt that is working here. All right. Active right leg. Up and down. Squeeze down. Squeeze. All right. And squeeze and relax. All right. Now we're going to move into our app exercise. So we're going to lay on the ground, lay down, and put our hands underneath our butt. Three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Exhale. Move one leg after the other down. Inhale. Right leg up, left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Try to press your lower back to the ground as much as possible. It prevents you from injuries again. I guess that's my favorite sentence. And creates much more tension in your stomach. And exhale down. Inhale up and rest. All right, give yourself a hug and give yourself a smile for remaining on this mat and sticking with me. All right, moving to standing. Go, 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 go. And now either white legged squats or together and apart, together and apart, together and apart, together and apart. Really move your knees, shift your weight to the back and remain stable in the knees. Don't collapse in, you know why. All right, and continue. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. All right. One more round of push-ups. And move into the position. And go. Continue to breathe. Strong core, strong back, and continue. Go into your knees. If you can't do it anymore. Otherwise, if you can't do it anymore, just hold it in plank. 
Exactly. Five more seconds. And rest. All right. I'm a bit out of breath here. All right. Let's move into our bridge and butt. Heels to the butt. Straighten the left leg and push down. Push down. Push down. Push down. Push down. Push down. Active leg. Left leg is as straight as possible. Parallel to your right thigh and remain stable in your knees. All right. Ten more seconds. Feel the heat. Continue to breathe. All right. And rest. Shake your legs. Give them space. Play from side to side. Pretend smile. Try to enjoy this. Try to enjoy the heat. All right. Legs to the center. Right leg is straight and up and down. Squeeze down. Squeeze down. Squeeze down. Stable knee, straight leg, active legs. Muscles are working. And squeeze. Stable core as well. Really important here. Secure your lower back. And squeeze down. Squeeze down. Squeeze. And release. All right. Spring from side to side. Straighten the legs a little bit. Shake them. And now put your hands underneath your butt. Straighten the legs up into the air and exhale down. One leg after the other. Inhale up. Press your lower back into the ground. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Firm lower back. Engage your core. Press your lower back to the ground. Move with your breath. And inhale up and release. Whew. All right. Last exercise. Get into standing. Either into white squat or put your Knees together, move down and jump and apart. Jump and apart. Really maintain as far back as possible with your butt. Yes. Use your arms to create as much balance. Put them in front so you can move through the back and apart and together and apart. Together. Or if those of you who are doing the squats, really squeeze your butt together when you're going up. Squeeze. Squeeze. And one last. Yes, we did it. All right. So, oops. Just sit down for a little bit. Have a sip of water. And after this. We've reached the 30 sec 30 second, 30 minute mark. However, if you guys still have time, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching, just a couple of minutes to release your body. It's really important to find the balance between strength, mobility, and flexibility. A bit out of breath here. <laughs> All right, so. Feel free to join the stretching if you guys want. If not, 
Thank you very much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. For those who've already joined my yoga classes, this is a bit different now. Um, my first time actually doing this. Um, really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to uh, leave a feedback as well so we can always improve these classes. And um, yeah, hopefully see you next time for those ones who are not joining the stretching. And for those ones who are joining, you can just bend into your knees a little bit and grab your opposite elbows and hang down. Play from side to side. Find back to your breath. Feel how your body going down. Let your head fall down. Feel the heat in your body, your blood rushing through your veins. And exhale really deeply. Now inhale, straighten your legs, bring straight back, and exhale. Bend down as far as you can. Try to hinge from your hips. Look forward and move down. You can either grab your feet, grab your ankles, or your knees if you can't reach that far down. And release. And breathe. Inhale, rise up, and now exhale, sit down, cross leg position. Try to move your knees down as far as you can, and bend forward a little bit. If you can do the half lotus from yoga, if you're familiar with it, feel free to come into this pose. And move down a little bit. Creating space in your lower back, hips, and your spine. Inhale, come up, switch legs, and exhale, go down again. All right, bend back a little bit, move your shoulders away, shine the heart forward, look up, inhale here, straighten as much as possible, and exhale, move, breathe everything out. Inhale, raise the arms, and exhale, move them to the side. All right. If you're more than welcome to continue stretching, it's really good for your body and I can only recommend it. I don't want to do that much of a long class, so I hope to see you guys again. Make sure to leave a feedback. I hope you enjoyed it and got sweating a little bit and um, yeah, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.